Hey guys, welcome to my From the Depths tutorial. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this short and simple because most of the tutorials I find on YouTube are 15 minutes long and nobody has time for that. Today I'm going to try to show you how to make a low uh, plane that is very fast and consumes very little resources apart from fuel because let's face it, it's a plane. So as you saw, I started, I'm in the vehicle designer and I started with the default raft. I extended it just a couple blocks, made it square and then I made these little wooden protrusions and that's where I'm going to start placing the custom jet engine so I'm going to place a controller obviously I like to place mine at the front and then um, you're going to need a few intakes let's go with three then you don't have to copy as exactly but I recommend you do I mean see the formula that I'm doing and then you can either extend it or shorten it so you're going to want to put a couple of compressors and then the important part which is the combustion chamber or combustor and then you're going to want the exhaust now that you have this jet engine it still doesn't work because you don't have any fuel injectors so that's what you're going to add you can add them either to the sides or the top I prefer top and bottom for the fuel injector I don't know why there we go perfect so now on the side, I like to add extra combustors because who doesn't like extra power? There we go. Make sure you don't add uh, any of these components on the jet exhaust. You can, but it's just a waste of material because they do nothing. So there. Now that the combustors are done, you're gonna you're going to want to add extra compressors. Why? Because it never hurts, and we can afford it. Exactly. And then make sure you're on symmetry mode so that way it does it to both sides. Once you have the extra compressors, you're basically going to want your intake add ons. E there we go. Alright, perfect. Now, basically, this is a working jet engine, and I'm excited for the fact that it doesn't work because it has no fuel. So, this is very simple to fix, obviously. Well, right now what I'm trying to do is mirror what I did on the bottom and trying to do it at the top. That way the weight distribution is as perfect as possible because weight is a very important factor when making planes. I know that's a very duh comment. Seems very obvious, but, you know, this is supposed to be a basic tutorial after all. <laughs> so, yes. Um, there, that's mirroring it as closely as it can be. But, so, <clears throat> now that we've got the working jet engine, I like to add, I press the button, button above enter to show the center of mass, or actually the force is acting upon the vehicle, so basically the center of mass, and add a few fuel tanks in the center, perfect, three on each side of the center of mass, and now this should work, but I'm not going to test it out yet, I want to do a couple of things first, I'm going to put a chair in the you can actually put this in a room like the the control uh, vehicle controller and the chair you can put wherever you want I put them at the top because no missile that comes after you is going to hit you neither is any bullet unless you're fighting lasers you should be completely safe so <clears throat> for the tail I like to add, I like to extend a, a three block wide section kind of far from the plane then add tail planes. Uh, yeah, tail planes. Why are they not straightening out? There we go. Make sure they're flat. And oh, that's why. <laughs> Perfect. Make sure they're flat. And I kind of like to ex I like to exaggerate with the tail plane because this is what helps you pitch up or down. So you can never go wrong with more control. Honestly. There we go. This is perfect. Yeah, this is perfect. Now that you have your elevators, you're going to want to actually add the tail. Another thing, uh, same thing here. It might not be pretty, but it works. So, there we go. Now you have a working um, tail of your plane. So, it should be able to pitch up or down. Now, what you're going to want is wings. This one, you know. You, the center of mass used to be around here because and we know that because of the barrels. So around there, I'm gonna add wings. It's not really that important where you add wings in this game. Uh, the aerodynamics are not that impressive. Maybe they'll 
I mean, maybe they'll get fixed, who knows, but I honestly like them. And then, <clears throat> after you added these small wings, you're going to want to be able to, you know, bank left and right, or roll. That's why you, I usually add uh, three rows of ailerons. You know, it's a little bit of overkill, but you can never be too safe when you're trying to fly a plane. So now that this vehicle works, this is a working jet plane, and you're going to see why I made it the way I did. Uh, oh, right. I'm going to speed up, and it might not take off because the jet engine's underwater. Yeah. Usually you have to add a few balloons, but here. Okay. Now, the thing works, but as you can notice, I'm not touching anything. It's trying to do backflips. That is because there is too much weight at the top. Because let me turn off this because if I go and press the center of mass you see the center of mass is very high above the jet engine you kind of, you want that weight in the center of mass to be right in the center right here so the thing is this works out in our favor because we need to add an engine at the bottom now, why would we need to add an engine because well <clears throat> because we need to add a fuel processor as well. You saw how little I ran this jet engine and still look how um, I have almost no fuel left. So you're going to want to create a small engine with at least 80 horsepower so that should be very easy and cheap to achieve. There we go, there we go, that's 8. Then engine is own fuel tank, there 68 and 79, 84, perfect, 84 horsepower. After you've added an 84 horsepower engine, go to resources and fuel processors. Now how many you need depends on how big your jet engine is, but can you really go wrong with four? Um, after we've placed the engine, you see the center of mass is still too high, so lead block and just try to center it as much as possible. Here I can do it from the uh, still too high, still too high, still too high. Perfect. That's ugly, yet perfect. So it works. Now when I speed up, it should go perfectly straight. I'm not touching anything, and we're going perfectly straight. Now, as you can see, we're going 84 meters per second, which is not bad for playing this size. And the total cost of this vehicle is 21,000 wood, 11,000 metal. Now, for very early game, a vehicle this powerful is a great thing. Um, hey, one more thing that I wanted to show you guys is, as you can see, if I throttle up right now, the engine won't turn on because it's underwater. So to fix that issue, what I do is I put a hot air balloon deployer right here, and then put a control, automated control block. Yeah, we're going to need two of these. Uh, one of them is going to be activate, and you want to activate it when it's the altitude is less than I put five here I think that's a good um, altitude so activate when altitude is less than five and balloon deployers activate balloons exit this one what it's gonna do is balloon deployers deactivate when altitude is greater than 5.1 exit perfect now this one we're gonna test it Exit. There's going to be a balloon deploying. And what defect just happened? Why isn't the altitude? Well, maybe 5.1 is too low. Try 7. Exit. There we go. And now that that's turned on and our jet engine's out of the water, we now have a working plane. If I happen to land in the water, wow, that's slow. Land in the water. There, this is gonna turn on. I know I can make it turn on with contact and water, I just prefer this method. You see, now we have a plane that can land on water and take off super easily. Well guys, this is Pirate Age, and thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any more questions, feel free to post them below, as I'll be glad to answer them. And I'm hoping you found this tutorial useful. If so, please don't forget to like and subscribe, otherwise, this was Pyronage, and have a wonderful day.